Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we'll be talking about the best render settings in After Effects. And this will work for whatever you're doing. So whether you are rendering game footage, uh, live action video, or motion graphics, these settings are pretty much golden. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll be talking about two settings that I like to use all the time. And the first setting we'll be talking about is a QuickTime format. And that's really for um, if you're going to uh, bring your graphic or what your clip or whatever you're doing um, into an editing program to mix with other footage. So that way you'll retain the best quality possible. And let's go ahead and talk about how we can do that right now. So, so if you have a certain range you want to render, you can hit B on your keyboard or at the playhead and then hit N on your keyboard for the out point on your playhead. Um, so you, you can only export this range, but I'm gonna go ahead and export everything. And then what we go up to is composition, um, add to render queue. And then right here, uh, make sure render settings are set to uh, best settings. And then under the output module, click on lossless. And it's already set to uh, QuickTime, so we make sure we want this to QuickTime. And then um, millions of colors is good, RGB is great. And then click on format options and video codec. Let's set it to Apple ProRes 422 HQ. This codec will retain all the information in your file and give you the highest quality file possible. So click OK and then OK again. And then set your output. Uh, to wherever and then click on render. So this setting is great, but the file size can be really big and sometimes this doesn't work if you want to upload straight to YouTube or if you want to export your final file from After Effects. So uh, this, I only suggest this codec if you're going to go to like an editing program and mix it in with other footage. Now, let's just say you want to export the final video and you want to upload it to YouTube or you want to send it to a client or whatever. Um, what we can do is uh, go back uh, to our composition and click on add to Adobe Media Encoder queue and this that will pop up here in the uh, Adobe Media Encoder. So for format we can uh, click the drop down and set it to H.264 and then what's cool about the preset that there's a lot of cool options here and I like to set it to YouTube 1080p HD. Um, so once that's set uh, we can go ahead and click on the preset here to open up this tab and we can even further adjust the settings here. Um, if your footage is 1920 by 1080, make sure it's set to that, or if, it, if it's not, you can change that. And the one thing I wanna uh, you know, focus on is the uh, target bitrate and the maximum bitrate. Um, and this will uh, really uh, determine the uh, size of your file. So right now it's set to 16, and as you can see down here, we have an estimated file size of nine megabytes. Say if I set this to like four for both of these. And as you can see, the estimated file size is down to two megabytes now. So that's how you can control the file size of your uh, video. So, um, and the thing to keep in mind that even though it's set down to four, you don't really lose so much quality. It pretty much is still sharp. I render all my tutorials um, at four. Um, if for like video stuff, I usually render it between eight to 10 if it's going on the internet. So um, it's a really good setting. It really does retain a lot of quality. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. And once you're done, you click okay and then hit the play button and that's it. I hope this video has helped you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, uh, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I do take requests for tutorials. So if you have any requests, please drop a comment down below, message me, do whatever you can to get in contact with me. Um, and if this video has helped you, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this. And please also check out my social media links in the description and guys, Hopefully, I will see you soon.